Good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. on Thursday, February 21st, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I was up late last night, even per my usual current schedule. And so uh, I did not get enough sleep, but I'm up because I want to kind of try to not have my schedule slide any further than it already has. So definitely sleepy tired right now. Uh, part of the reason for all of that is just because, you know, it wasn't just for the hell of it. It was because I had to do a work meeting for my South Korea project, which is in and of itself fine. Uh, it was inconvenient personal timing that they, uh, the time that they wanted to do it was exactly the time that I would normally be doing my D&D game, uh, which, you know, again... These things happen. I'm not, comp I'm not, nobody did anything wrong, but it did mean that I had to push back the D&D. &D, and so that meant that ran later than it normally would and so on and so forth. So I am a sleepy girl right now and um, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I got my car back. You know, it was a fair amount of new repairs into it, but you know, what are you going to do, right? It's... It is what it is. Um, uh, and, you know, just kind of plugging along, you know, just uh, it's coming up on my next, my, you know, my vacation trip here uh, very soon. And I'm feeling like I've got a lot to do between now and then. I'm feeling like I have, I have a lot of self-assigned tasks that must be completed. Eh. <laughs> Uh, I make a lot of work for myself with uh, spare time. It is a fascinating, endless cycle to me that, you know, the way our subjective perception applies rules to our activities. Okay, so this is something I've talked about before, but basically the way this works is when you think of yourself as busy, right? Mostly what you're usually saying is, I have a lot to do. I have all of these different things that I need to do. And, and it's taking up all my time. And often, you know, often part of the complaint about being busy is that you don't have time to do things that you feel like you'd rather do, right? But let's take this hypothetical busy person and just check off a couple of the boxes of the things they need to do, right? Those things are done. Don't have to do those anymore. So what is the response of this person who is busy and complaining, right? Is it to feel better and just that's the end of it? No, the actual response for almost everyone I know who ever complains about being busy is to say, oh, now that those things are done, I can do these other things that I couldn't do because I didn't have time before. So they take on those tasks onto their little mental checklist. And now they're busy again. And, you know, admittedly, busy with things that they have chosen to spend their time on. But the point is just that when we have free time, we use it to do things. But once we have put something in that slot, it's not free time anymore, and you feel busy again. And so the very rudimentary math of saying, I have time to do a thing, so I'm going to do a thing during that time, somehow becomes this mental perception of, I am always busy. I have something that I need to do every minute of every day. And it's generally a matter of, well, a lot of those things are voluntary and you don't really have to do them. You are choosing to do them because you want to do them. But then the other part of your brain that just wants to complain about being busy, eh. 
this actually all comes down to another thing that is just, uh, you know, a weirdness of our brains is that our brains are really not like, you know, one little person at a computer console making all of our little mental decisions. It's really more like, well, you know, like, do you, you know, inside out where the, the five different emotions are like all competing with each other. Like sometimes they work well together and take turns and other times they disagree about what's the right path forward. Right. And they argue. And so that's, that's how our brains actually work is we have all of these different little parallel processes going on and sometimes they trip each other up. And so anyway, I'm sleepy but I got work to do. So I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.